Let's look at a square of charges, q plus q plus 2q, negative q. And as a square, they're all spaced d away. And we want to get ourselves a little bit familiar with symbolic solving, so we're going to do all of this symbolically. So this is a great sketch that we have, and we just want to add a few more things to it. So the first thing we want to add is a coordinate system. So we want to say that this is positive x, this is positive y. And once we have that, we want to draw vectors because we're trying to find the force on little q. So we want to draw a vector from plus q to little q, from plus 2q to little q, and from minus q to little q. And that's going to give us a lot of interesting stuff for this. Um, so now that we have our sketch, it's on to our organize. So we're going to call anything from this just plus, anything from this 2, anything from this as minus. So our r vector for the plus is going to be negative d in the j hat. We're not traveling anywhere in the uh, x direction, just negative d in the j hat. So this is our r vector for that. So then our r plus is just right squared is d squared. And our r plus hat is negative j hat. Then we can do this for the others. So for r minus vector, this is going to be negative d in the i hat, so then r minus squared is d squared, and r minus hat is negative i hat. And lastly, we have our um, 2, so our 2 vector. Here we are going both in the x direction and in the y direction, so we're going to distance d in the x direction negative, negative d i hat, and then minus d j hat. So then our r2 squared is going to be 2d squared, and our r2 hat is going to be all of this divided by the square root of all this. So it's a little bit complicated. Let's show it. So negative d i hat minus d j hat over the square root of 2d squared. I can factor out the negative. I can factor out the d from this. So I have negative d i hat plus j hat. I'm actually only going to factor out the d. So negative i hat minus j hat. And then this d squared, I can factor that out. So it's d over square root of 2. And I can cancel my d for both of these. And that's going to give me that right r2 hat is just going to be negative i hat minus j hat over the square root of 2. So that helps a lot with that. And we can find the individual forces in our organized step. So for our force from the positive, this is going to be, we found, right, well, 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. The charge is of the actor is plus q. The charge of the recipient is little q. d squared is d squared and our r hat is negative j hat. We can do a similar thing for the force from the negative charge, 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. And now our charge is minus q. Our charge of our agent, or our recipient is little q. Distance is d squared. And then we have negative i hat. And lastly, we can do for our our uh, 2, so we have F2 is, uh oh, we can't read it all that well as compared to the others. So we have 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, 2q, q over 2d squared. And then I'm just writing out the R2 hat. So I have negative i hat minus j hat over square root of 2. So this is my organized step, right? Just getting all of these. Mostly it's just the directions that are tough. And then we just plug in the individual charges. So I have F plus, F minus, F2. And so what I need then is my uh, net force. And so my force net 
is going to be f plus plus f minus plus f2. The first thing I can do just to make this a little bit easier for this case is to factor out any common terms. So I have q for pi epsilon naught and b squared. So I can do q over pi epsilon naught d squared. And then what I have left is, in this case, I've got the q, the d squared, the 4 pi epsilon naught. So I just have plus q in the negative j hat direction. I have minus q i hat direction. And then here I have 2q over 2d. So in fact, I can even cancel it above here. So I just have plus q in the negative i hat minus j hat over square root of 2. So now that I have this, I can factor out the positive q, and we're pretty much just left with directions now. So I have my force net is going to be q q over 4 pi epsilon naught squared, and now I just have negative j hat, negative negative gives me plus i hat, and then negative i hat minus j hat, and now I'm going to just take these root twos and move them. So I have two similar terms of i hat and j hat, and so I can work with those. I've got q q over 4 pi epsilon naught d squared, and now what I can do is I can have terms that are related to i hat and terms related to j hat. So in i hat I have 1 here, minus 1 over square root 2. And here I have negative 1, minus 1 over square root 2. 